Hi everyone, this is Crypto Research. In this video, I'm going to be getting into our VeChain tokens daily update. If you're enjoying this daily content, make sure to go and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and if you're interested, I've got a Discord group and a Twitter, and I'll make sure to leave both links below. So this is the VeChain token on the hourly time frame, and you can see here on the 1st of September is when we did actually start to see that breakout. We were consolidating between these two levels here in the 11.5 cent, and also that 12.8 cent region. This 12.8 cent region was a really key resistance for us as it was actually our 0.236 level on that Fibonacci reverse retracement tool. And when we did actually see that bat test with four hourly candles actually closing above and also that daily candle, we did know that we were gonna be going on for continuation. We did actually target this 13.6 cent region as our first uh, target point, as this is an area where on them the, the end of August, we were actually finding a bit of resistance. So this is what we had to Respect. We had to respect the most recent price data and you can see that we did go and hit that as a resistance We saw a tiny bit of consolidation after that point and then we did go on for more continuation Towards this 14.4 cent region around that area And this is an area where we were finding a key resistance as well on the 16th of August And this was um, the last uh, time we were actually in that price territory So respecting the more recent data like you always have to do in technical analysis We did know that we were going to find a bit of resistance at that level Again we we did see a bit of sideways action when we did hit that resistance. We fell through that 20 in May temporarily on the one hourly time frame, and then we've actually gone to find them. Um, we've gone on to find this uh, support, this uh, ascending support level that you can see there. And essentially, this has been our support. It's been finding really consistent and um, back test as well. You can see on the 1st of September, we, it actually started there. You can see here on the 4th of September, we did find a back test there. The 5th of September yesterday, again, we found a back test. And today, we did manage to get bought up really nicely from that area once again. So essentially, what's happening now is, is that we are actually becoming um, a bit more compact. You can see that we are kind of closing in on this um, on this uh, support level and the resistance. So the, res the support levels are ascending and the resistance is just that um, straight line there and that 15 point of three cent region so basically by around um by around the 7th of september we are going to have to have made a decision whether we are going to go and see that breakout or if we are actually going to turn that um support level into a resistance and actually find them um, a technical target where we were to fall through but you can see that at the minute we are actually testing that resistance that 15.3 cent region and this is um above this 20 ema on the one hourly time frame if we are to see consistent candles actually closing above this um 15.3 cent region and uh, do definitely be looking on that four hourly time frame as well it's got much more accurate data and make sure to go and check that daily time frame as well if you did manage to go and see them uh, back test uh, it would actually validate that we are going to be going on for continuation and i do have this target of the one point four six level on the Fibonacci reverse retracement tool which is actually that um 17.4 cent region and you can see that up there that that's actually our target so the 17.4 cent region is our target and that's if we were to see that back test we do actually if I was just to zoom out quite a bit um, you can see here that 16.1 cent region, the data hasn't loaded here, but um, essentially that 16.1 cent region will actually be a resistance in the meantime, as that was our resistance um, in the most recent price data from that price territory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into the 4 hourly time frame, hopefully you'll be able to see it a bit clearer here, and you can see on this 4 hourly time frame that we are actually obviously uh, trending above this um, resistance, just ever so slightly, and we are looking to see this, um, we are looking to see this candle here in the 4 hour see a close above that, uh, that sorry that resistance before we do go on for any more continuation so I've just got into this daily time frame so that I can share with you why we do actually have a bit of resistance on this 16.1 cent you can see here on the 19th sorry the, the 18th and the 19th of May so towards the end of May you were actually finding a resistance on this level you can see that we saw two candles actually closing below this region and uh, we did fail to back test it on the 19th of May and this is when we did see that big um that that big dump basically and we did actually see that retracement that correction of around 45 percent in that day and before we did actually find a bit of continuation towards this uh, resistance that we're finding that right now but basically this is why that 16.1 cent is definitely a really key area and we do need to see um, a daily candle closing above that after we do break out the 15.2 cent before we do go towards that um that 0.146 level here that you can see is that 17.4 cent so basically we are we are kind of targeting that if we were to continue to see this uh 
daily candle actually it close above that 15.2 and continue just like it's doing right now if you were to see a close like that and you saw the next candle actually open green I do think that you would be going on for a continuation and if I just uh, share with you what's happening on this RSI you can see that we do have a lot of room to grow although we are on that 68 level you can see that in the past we've gone to around that, uh, that 83 level so we do definitely have a lot of room to the upside still like around 15 points if we were to extend um, and you can see on this stock side that we have actually seen that um, turn so I did indicate to everyone that you should be buying when you are seeing that curve on that stock side this is when we were on that 12.1 cent region you can see how good of an opportunity that actually was for VeChain there and then um, essentially you could have profit you could have um, found quite not like quite a lot of profit off of that and um, if I just measure that that was around 34% in gains but what's happening right now is that we are at the top of the stock chart RSI we're not just going to see an instant fall you can see that it does um, take like a at least a week and a bit before you usually do see that momentum actually slow down you can see it happened um, around a month uh, last time you saw this momentum just last for a month before you did kind of see that curve so if anyone was actually making a trade and you uh, and you'd bought right at the bottom of this stock chart RSI here what you're looking for is you are looking for this to overextend you are looking for that curve and then this is where you'd sell so I'm just going to circle where you'd buy on that stock chart side. There's other indicators that you need to look at, but it's definitely a really good um, thing to kind of get your head around. So if you were to actually buy at this level, you'd have bought on that breakout, and then you can see that the stock chart side, the momentum starts to close down. Uh, you'd actually sell at this level here. So that would actually be a really nice trade. And say that we were actually to see that um, kind of slow down, you would be selling at around 15 cent, and you'd have bought around a 12 cent region. So it would be a really nice trade. Um, I'm not saying that that's like the specific levels or anything it's just something that you need to be paying attention to on that stock chart side because I do think that there's um, a lot of um, opportunity and I'm going to be sharing with everyone as well I've got a Cardano video that I just posted and um, do definitely go and check that out as we are just approaching that um, turn in that stock chart side just like we did here with VeChain so do definitely go and have a look at that Cardano video see if everything's um, mapping up and um, if it's aligning for what you're wanting to do and see if you do actually want to enter the trade so you can see that VeChain is definitely looking good we're just looking for that um, a validation of continuation with that little bat test of the resistance at 15.3 cent so I'll make sure to update everyone tomorrow if anything does change I'll make sure to get in that discord group but I do really appreciate everyone watching this uh, video I hope that it brought some value to you thank you for watching this video make sure to go and subscribe hit that bell notification and if you're interested I've got a discord group and a twitter I'll leave both links in the description and thank you for watching this video make sure to have a great day